Welcome to Art with Jim Freehart. We're going to do a lesson today on drawing a penguin family. And we're going to do a pretty quick study here. And we'll go right along. If I go a little bit fast, uh, don't worry, because you can go back and finish up your drawings and, and look at the, uh, the images that I do again. But once again, here's kind of, we're going to do something kind of like this. This was a little study I did a while ago. And, uh, so here we go. This might be where the, the penguin might be standing. And this is kind of a neat shape. It's almost like a, a it's diamond. Almost like... It's almost like a diamond. Uh, we'll get some of the timer. Like that. So that would be the shape of the tall um, adult penguin. That would be kind of the shape of the body. So Can I make a fat or skinny penguin? Uh, you can make it however you want. You make a really skinny one like this. this is kind of more like a normal adult tall penguin. But if you want to make it chubby and kind of cute or funny, that's fun too. And that's perfectly fine. So there's kind of the shape of the body. And then we have one wing coming out like this. And I'm making them kind of skinny because we're looking at them long wise, like my hands fat like that, but skinny like that. So that's kind of what we're gonna do with our penguin. And I'm gonna have the penguin turning and facing the, the rest of the family a little bit more. So this, this paddle or this wing is going to, or flipper, whatever you wanna call it, will be in on the body like that. Like that. This one will be seeing the body will go in front of it like that, so to speak. In other words, we'll just see the, the wing coming out sideways. So the, I'm gonna have this looking, um, I'm gonna make some big eyes just to make it a little bit more interesting. One eye I'm gonna put really close to the edge and one on this, in the middle, because this, this side of the penguin is going to go something like this. This is gonna be the, the dark light line. So what that means is, this is gonna be the dark side of the penguin, the black side, and penguins have a really light tummy, sort of for camouflage. From underneath, a, a predator would see the light side of it if they swam under it. And from on the top, a predator would see a dark body against the darker ocean down below. So it kind of helps hide them. So that's going to be like, there we go. There's, I'm rounding its head off a little bit. Here's its body coming along like this. The tail is just going to go sort of a little tail that's dragging on the ground, so to speak. So this is all going to be dark in here. And like I said, if you guys do your lines kind of lightly at first, it makes it a lot easier for you to change things. That's all. So we have one wing coming out like that. One wing that comes out and goes, comes right onto the body because we're looking a little bit sideways at this penguin. See that? And you'll be able to tell it sideways when I do two more little clues. One will be the penguin's beak. So the penguin's beak, I'm gonna make it almost like a little, a really long skinny triangle. So it's gonna go one side like that, one side like that, and then a long beak sticking out like this. So it's like a, it's almost like a long, it's more than a triangle. It's just a four-sided shape with sharp, I mean, you know, straight edges. And there's the little mouth line where there's the underside. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. Hopefully you can. Probably would be good if I, had an eraser. There we go. 
can clean up these lines a little bit. Now the other part that, see how that, this kind of makes it look like it's, we're seeing it sideways a little bit because that wing is coming from the other side of the body. And this wing is visible on this side of the body. And the eyes are ones kind of right at the edge. And this one, I'm making a pretty big eye and then I'm gonna put a little white spot in it and make the rest of it really dark. So see that little white shiny spot? Makes it a little bit more interesting. So I'm leaving a little white spot and darkening the rest of the eye. Then down at the bottom, penguins have super powerful, strong feet with claws on them so they can catch themselves on the ice or some of them actually use them for digging in the desert where they actually live in uh, Argentina, I think, where they have they live in a deserty region on, on the ocean and they have to dig their burrows in the rocky ground. So there we go, there's one foot. The other one is just have like about three, three little toes sticking down. And here's its tummy coming under like that. Now, once again, I know I'm gonna be going faster than you want on some of these, but let's just, um, whatever point you're at, um, I'm gonna send this image to you as soon as we finish this class. So, or if it's on YouTube, you guys can just stop it and work at your own speed. But let's, um, I'm just gonna darken this a little bit because it really stands out like a penguin when you make, make it super dark, really strongly black and white. So I'm gonna just darken this dark side of the penguin. by shading it in. And I'm making it extra dark under its wing because the wing would make a shadow there. So I want it to be nice and dark under there, right beneath the wing where it attaches to the body. I'm gonna make this one a little bit fatter, bringing its tummy out. Okay, so that's pretty much it with our, the first penguin. And we, it may be that we only do two penguins in this because I don't know how much time we have exactly. But I'm gonna make the baby. The babies are really chubby little things. I'm gonna make it have a little round tummy there. And its body is just like this. It's kind of like a little igloo I just made here. <laughs> I'm going to put its, its little flipper coming out the side and the other flipper coming out just like I did with the, with the adult penguin there. I'm going to put its little paws or its little feet. One, two, and the other one right here, one, two, three. There's this little feet, kind of. And I'm gonna, to make it look more like a baby, I'm gonna make a really big eye here. One big eye and another one like that. And I'm going to put a stubby little beak because that's one of the things that makes that'll make it look more like a baby is to have a shorter beak and shorter flippers. Makes it look more like a, a youngster.
I'm making a, <clears throat> a little dark spot and a light spot in the little penguin's eyes. And I'm going to give it some, some, some kind of, some little curved eyelashes just for the fun of it. I'm going to make so. mine a macaroni penguin. Oh yeah, that's cool with the, with a little top hat kind of, I mean, a little crown like. And the last thing on this little baby is its tail, a little tail coming out like that. And how are we doing for time over there? Did anybody have an idea? Is this, should we leave the other adult out for now and just do the ice in front of the penguins? Whatever you yeah. want, because um, we have, yeah, we have yeah. about 20 minutes left, so. Oh, okay. Well, let's do this one thing anyway. So make sure we have time to put the iceberg in. If we have time, we'll add another adult here. Um, but <clears throat> let's start off by going like if I were to make an iceberg and I want to make it look like like um, <clears throat> it's smooth, slippery ice here, like almost like a skating rink. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to make um, here's going to be just a real simple way to make the an, a bit of an, an ice patch here. Now watch what happens when I put these lines, wherever I have these little cracks or things like that, I have a line coming down like that, coming down like that, coming down at the edge of the drawing like that. I'm not sure if that is easy for you to understand, but I'm making these lines, uh, they kind of come to points a bit so that it makes it look like we're down low, sort of looking at, at this patch of, of an iceberg. And you can even put some little cracks in it, if you want. Well, that's pretty good for the iceberg. We might put the other adult there if we have time. But watch what happens when I do a couple things. One, I'm going to shade, I'm going to shade this in here. So it's darker than this than the iceberg up above the the smooth slippery part of the iceberg so i'm going to kind of darken this a little bit and you can always go back on your drawing and do that more dark later but i'm going to make this one even darker and that'll separate it from the little this little part that sticks out here so i'm making this a little extra dark in there over here i'm doing the same thing a little extra dark And everybody remember, this is always this is always just one way to do it. It's not like the right way or the only way. It's just one way that you can do a drawing like this. And you can come up, you will come up with your own ways that you like even better than what I'm doing. This was just a guide of one way to, to make kind of a fun penguin family on an iceberg. Okay, so that's pretty good for just, I'm gonna darken this baby a little bit so it stands out a little bit more. And baby penguins have, like almost all baby birds, they have really rough, or I should say like fluffy, downy feathers that are extra warm. And they're also camouflaged kind of, they're just basically gray when they're babies usually so that they don't stand out like the black and white mom and dad penguins. Because the babies aren't out swimming, needing their camouflage from the orcas and things that are out in the water. Okay, there's a big one and a baby and a few birds. I'm gonna kind of put a, a, uh, a whole group of birds together flying here.
then I can put a few, few birds that are really far away by making them much smaller. I'm gonna put a, a far away iceberg. Here's the ocean way out here. And here's a bit of an iceberg sticking up off in the distance. And I'm not gonna make that super dark, just a little bit dark. And that will make it look far away by not making it too super clear or very dark. Okay, and the last part we'll do on this will be to make it look, make this ice look like it's a little skating rink almost. So how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna make lines that start really dark by the dark parts of the penguins. And then I'll make those lines go straight down. That's the part that's kind of important. They're going straight down from the dark areas and a little bit light lines going down from the light areas. And here's the dark part again. So dark lines coming, reflecting on the ice right there, dark over here. And then I put a few little lines going sideways to break up that reflection kind of. And that's one way to make it look kind of smooth and shiny. And I can even take my pencil and erase a couple little sideways lines on this to make it so it's not a perfect reflection, but a little bit broken up by these horizontal lines. I'm gonna do the same with the baby here. Some straight up and down lines here, a little bit darker where the, where the penguin's dark, a little bit lighter where it's light in the tummy. And Again, some, some horizontal lines, kind of like I did with this, where the lines are like kind of zigzags. I might do a few zigzags on there like that. That's kind of like what I did on the whale. Yeah, cool. On the last lesson, you mean? Cool. All right, great. Um, so, I think that's it. I know you guys are probably not all the way done and you can add to your drawings, but I'm gonna go ahead and sign mine here somewhere. I'm gonna sign it up here. Jim Free Heart. And this little star means celebrate the gift of life. There you go. That's something I made up many years ago. So I hope you learned something. I hope you had fun. And uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, like the video and love to have you subscribe and um, see some other videos that will be coming up. Great. Have a wonderful day and keep on drawing. <laughs>